What is going on, my brothers and sisters? Uh, I was thinking about toxic people, uh, narcissists, narcissistic people, and how much they talk trash about others. And one of the reasons they do that is because they hate themselves. See, when a narcissist says they don't like somebody or they don't like something, uh, they don't like a particular type of person, that's actually a confession as to who they are. So toxic people, they, they hate themselves and they project uh, their insecurities, you know, they'll call somebody a beta, or they call somebody weak or fearful or, you know, whatever, whatever it's thieving, um, whatever it is, that's, that's a projection of who they are. And there's a couple of reasons that they do that. One is they're trying to create that cognitive fog in the person that they are abusing, the person that they're trying to con. Um, they don't want you to make the connection between who they are and what they're, you know, who they are and what you see. So, when you when you hear somebody else, you know, when they're during the love bomb stage, when they're the love bomb, you when you hear somebody else say, you know, well, so and so did this, or so and so is like that, someone that knew them in the past, uh, the your first instinct is going to be, no, no, that's not true. Uh, that person hates those types of people. It's a confession as to what they do and who they are. Uh, if uh, they adamantly are against um, like woman beaters, they're a woman beater. If they're adamantly against liars, they'd be lying. Um, it's it's a way to gaslight and manipulate the target of their abuse. Like, honest to God, beware of people, um, whether they're friends or they're trying to get into a romantic relationship with you. Well, friends or people, someone trying to be friendly. Um, like, be wary if you run into somebody who's, like, just adamantly staunch about um, hating a certain type of person. Um, just get, keep keep a mental note of that. <laughs> Especially if you've got those new eyes, you've been through narcissistic abuse, you know. Probably don't even need to tell you this because you're, you're going to listen to your instincts and they're going to tell you something is off. There's people out there that really spit out a good con game. There's really good lying manipulative people uh, that will play on, like, your your empathy will play on your kindness or your compassion because they've been doing it their whole lives. You know, they spot people that see the best in others and they will use that to their advantage. And that's why that's one of the reasons why they will go off about, you know, I don't like thieves. I don't like criminals. Um, I don't like, I, I don't, I don't do hands. I don't like getting hit or I don't, you know, or I don't like people who hit others. These are all confessions of the things that they actually like. When, you are being when you're like in a smear campaign uh, against a, a narc. Like at another time when they're just confessing who they are, a lot of the things they'll say about you is exactly what they did, and it, you don't even have to be engaging in reactive abuse at that point, like because they're just lying to lie. They hate themselves, and that's just the truth of it. The things they say they're not is exactly who they are. If you catch them doing these th those things. Um, the first, the first thing they're going to do is say, you're the problem. You're the reason why I did this. I'd never done this before. I, I never allowed hitting before. I never allowed cheating before. I never, you know, I never did this or that before. Like, yes, they have, they absolutely have. And they like it. Uh, but they're going to blame you. They're going to blame you and your confusion, uh, just for, for whatever it is that they do for whatever it is they like or however they are. So understand like from the jump. From the jump, that person has been lying and setting up an illusion so that they can avoid accountability for who they are, so that they create a cognitive fog in you, so that you don't connect the dots um, when a person from the past or someone else that has known them uh, better or known them longer comes along and tries to tell you about who they are. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do is go, oh, so-and-so said you were like that, or so-and-so said that they hated those types of people. That, can that can't be who they are. Uh, this is a part of the love bomb uh, stage. It's a part of the smear campaign, setting you up for reactive abuse, setting you up for uh, for the eventual fallout that's going to happen when they've drained your life energy uh, and they've smeared you to people behind your back, uh, to your friends or family, whoever will listen uh, to their to their BS. It's, it, it, it's, it's all lies and illusion. No contact, y'all. <laughs> no contact. There's, there's no help in these people. There's no saving these people. There, there's nothing good in them. They don't even like themselves and that's why they do what they do. So save yourself by being good to yourself and being good to each other and never again suffer that fool. Run! <laughs>